Okay, who knows what kind of birds these are? What are they? What kind of birds? Okay, these are screech owls. Okay, these are screech owls, and this is one of those owls. I don't have a clue which one. Uh, we got these actually came from Clinton, Arkansas. A electric company was clearing some tree lines, put in some power lines, and accidentally cut down, accidentally cut down the tree that this uh, bird's parents were nesting in. We got three of them in one night. Uh, one of them was sickly when we got it. We lost it that night. The other two we successfully raised. Uh, being hand raised, they're what, what you call a hard imprint. These birds could not be released back in the wild. Now this is something that was a learning experience for us too. I didn't know this could happen. Okay, this is a gray phase screech owl. They also come in a reddish color or red phase, which if you're here at four o'clock, you'll see this one's sibling, which is a red phase screech owl. I thought that the whole family had to be the gray or red, but they can actually mix. Absolutely. By the way, this bird's name is Gizmo. And of course, the, the birds, we name our birds. That's for our convenience, our education birds. We name them, and that's for our convenience only. The birds don't have a clue what their name is. They don't, they don't have a clue what their name is. Like I said, that's for our convenience. Pictures of birds are free. If I'm in it, it's five bucks. Uh, just turn to your old. The end captivity is policy for this bird that's about 10 years old. In the wild, uh, I think Rusty gave just a little bit bigger, but uh, in the wild, only 25% of birds of prey live past their second birthday. Okay, the biggest threat to birds of prey, obviously, is us, humans. The uh, majority of all of our intakes, the birds have been hit by cars. They also fly into man-made objects. We still get birds that are shot. People are still shooting birds. Hey, everybody knows what kind of bird this is, right? What kind of bird is this? These are juvenile barn owls. Barn owls are so cool, but they are the nastiest birds I've ever worked with. When they are going from this stage to this stage, you see all the white speckles down at the bottom there? That's basically dander. And they shake just like a dog, and stuff just flies everywhere. They are nasty as they can be. And a wild barn owl, you'll think he's going to rip your face off. They scream so much. Now, like I said, you see the, the very juvenile. This is still juvenile right here. And this here is a full-grown adult barn owl. Okay, this bird's name is Cheyenne. Cheyenne uh, will be five years old. Yeah, it just pooped. Don't step in it. <laughs> That's something when we do programs, especially when it involves young kids, one of our birds, we use a bathroom, that's it. They're done. They don't care about the bird, all they care about the food. <laughs> anyway, this is Cheyenne. Cheyenne just turned five years old, and Cheyenne is also a hard imprint. Cheyenne was found when she was a small chick in a grain bin, and the couple, farming couple took her home with good intentions, raised her properly as far as the diets go. Anyway, they thought Cheyenne should be released back into the wild. They turned over to another rehab friend of mine. You immediately realize this was a hard imprint. Now, Cheyenne, if she were to get away from me, she's fully flighted. If she were to get away from me, she would probably be dead within a week. She probably started dead. Uh, like I said, she associates with humans. That makes her a danger to herself. Uh, she does not know how to hunt. We can teach her to hunt. She also knows how to hunt instinctively to some extent. But like I said, since she is such a hard imprint and so used to people, if she were to get loose for us, she would probably fly back to somebody, and that would be a risk to her. <coughs> and you can see the difference, huge difference in the plumage from the baby to the adult. Okay, everybody knows what number this is, right? Okay, this is a horned owl that was released. Okay, we backtrack. Remember I said wildlife is wild, leave it alone, don't touch it, don't touch the babies. In this bird's case, had that happened, this bird would be dead right now. Okay. 
Okay, this is Bogart. Okay, we got Bogart. Bogart's a year old now. Uh, when we got Bogart, Bogart was a white fluff ball. Uh, it took us about three days to realize Bogart was blind. Okay, a bird of prey, if the mom suspects or detects a defect in their offspring, they will intentionally kick it out of the nest because they're not going to feed something that's not going to grow up and be productive. We think it's probably what happened to Bogart was kicked out of the nest. Okay, for about a month, we had to hand feed this bird every night. Not force feed it, but hand feed it. He wasn't able to walk around to find his food. We go through so many birds at a facility, we do not have the time every night to hand feed the birds. So we came to the conclusion we were going to have Bogart euthanized. Within a couple weeks, within a couple weeks, Bogart actually gained his eyesight. Uh, he was just a slow developer. So obviously, by this time, what is Bogart? Imprint. A hard imprint. But like I said, in the situation of Bogart, had we not gotten him, he would have been dead very, very shortly. And we are extremely lucky to have him as an education bird. Now, in captivity, it's possible for this guy to live 25, maybe even 30 years. So he and I, or she and I, whatever it is, we're going to be uh, senior citizens together. <laughs> By the way, I think it's a female. You know why I think it's a female? Because she won't shut up. <laughs> now, don't, don't take it the wrong way. <laughs> Actually, I think she's kind of hormonal right now. That's why she's so vocal. Like, it's a very, very vocal bird. Also, great horned owls, we're pretty sure they don't have a very good sense of smell because one of their favorite foods is skunk. We have picked up several great horned owls that have been sprayed by skunks. And it doesn't matter how fast you drive down the road with all your windows rolled down, the smell doesn't go away. It's kind of sort of right inside the car. In captivity, it's possible 25 to 30 years. In the wild, it's, it's up to nature. Two years, five years, 10 years, 12 years, there's, there's no way to gauge, really. 